In this video, we're going to be building a technical analysis agent that allows us to analyze graphs such as this. In this case, it's a Bitcoin technical graph and analyze technical indicators like relative strength index and directional movement index so that we can use the AI to give us an analysis of what the market is telling us about Bitcoin. So let's see this agent in action. I'm going to ask it to please analyze BITS. So this is a Bitcoin ETF. When I start that, the technical analysis agent using the Sonnet uh, model from Claude calls this tool called technical analysis. And inside this tool, we're going to execute this portion, which downloads my trading view. And then I will go and uh, download the chart and then analyze uh, the chart using the AI's vision capabilities. And then I'm going to return it back to the analyst for further analysis and output. So once it's done here, we'll see the output uh, in chart form as well as analysis. So you can see here that it's telling you uh, by looking at the chart, an upward trend, closing up to 100 and the most recent price. And then it's analyzing the candlestick patterns, the RSI, a relative strength index, DMI, and then it gives you the resistance levels, right? So major resistance at 100, secondary support, primary support. So it gives you a feeling of where the market is thinking about uh, uh, where this can drop to and where the current uh, upside uh, boundary is. And then it generates this really nice graph that shows all the candlesticks, the volume, as well as the relative strength index and the directional uh, movement index. So let's do a more detailed walkthrough of how this uh, technical analysis agent is built. So first we're gonna just go into this node and observe that the system prompt for this is very straightforward, it's very generic. The only thing that I'm doing here is to tell it when doing a techn technical analysis, please display the resulting URL graph in markdown format. This is important because that allows the chat to uh, be able to show uh, the URL that is returned uh, in a format that it can uh, display the graph. So the second thing we're going to observe is uh, the model we're using is the uh, anthropic uh, sonnet model. So we're using uh, the Claude 3.5. So uh, you can use the more later one here, which is uh, the October one. So we can select that, but the previous one will work just as well. And then the third thing here we're doing here is um, technical analysis. So um, what I've done here is create a tool that is uh, based on execution workflow. So I said this tool is uh, useful for technical analysis of a stock. In this case, it's an ETF. Uh, so I again here, I direct it uh, when processing the output of the tool, URLs return should always be in markdown format. So this is one of the key things here. You have to kind of specify uh, this format. So by doing this, um, it'll be able to display uh, the chart properly. And then uh, I, I take everything else as default. Of course, whenever doing chat, you want to put this uh, uh, buffer memory so that uh, the chat has uh, more context in terms of uh, being able to do follow-up questions. Now, this is at the heart of uh, the analysis. So we're going to drill down into this tool, right? So again, uh, technical analysis agent will, uh, whenever it detects that it needs to do a technical analysis. We'll go into this node here, and then this node will execute this workflow, all right? So in this workflow, let's open it up. So all I'm doing is that I'm saying, okay, company, and then I, I set this variable to what's passed into by the agent. So the agent will pass in, uh, in this case, BITS, and then we're going to use a service called chart image Com. So you can get an API key and it's free. Uh, there's a free tier uh, that is uh, quite generous. So you can use this. So this uh, allows you to uh, generate these images, right? So it uses underneath uh, the, the trading view, uh, which is very, very popular uh, for technical analysis. So it will go to the trading view service. And then if you look at um, the body parameters uh, that are passed into this uh, post API. Uh, it, I've specified the studies I want. So I want the volume, I want the relative strength index and uh, directional movement. So I've also uh, given it some 
uh, formatting so that the vision uh, part, the AI vision, uh, can uh, look at that in a little bit more uh, detail. And then I download it from here. So once, once I generate the chart, uh, I'm going to download the chart. And then here is the heart of the analysis. Let's go in here. So in this, um, in, in this uh, uh, system prompt here, what uh, we're telling it is uh, how to do the technical analysis. So uh, here's the uh, company or the ETF to analyze. And then you want to look at the candlestick patterns, pricing trends, and some more details of how the analysis would look like. Uh, look at the relative strength index and how to do the relative strength uh, strength index analysis and then directional movement index also instructions on how to do that and then also volume analysis and then uh, give a final take on that all right so uh, this was actually generated uh, by a process of going into claude.ai so claude.ai is a free service that you can also use to generate prompts right so in this case you can start a new chat and you can say, I would like to create a prompt for AI agent that does technical analysis. All right, so you can start here and then it will help you to create the initial prompts. So in this case, it'll give you some starting points Right? And then you can use this and refine it. Maybe you can say, I want to simplify this. Right? You don't want it to be so complex. So you can go here and, again, say simplify. And it will make this prompt a lot simpler. Right? And then you can tell it um, what you want and, and what you don't want. So then you copy this, essentially, into this system prompt here. All right? So that's the very easy way uh, to uh, to create this, and then you do uh, you input the image, uh, and then I'll put uh, the response. All right. So very very simple flow, but very very powerful.